Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and we're back, as always, with even more Kingdom Death models. Now, I mentioned the last time I did a Kingdom Death video for the Sun Lion and the... Crap, I forgot what she was called. Monocaster? I don't even know what she's called now. Shoot. Anyway, I had just finished these two ladies when the next two decided to show up on my front porch, and I postponed getting those two ladies started, because I figured I'd do them all at once. So we have the Smog Drummer, if I remember correctly, and then the Frozen Star. Now, these are going to be the Photo Resin Kits, because I don't think we've seen any actual resin releases from Kingdom Death in some time, no thanks to the pandemic, but we'll take what we can get course what I'd like to get is some of the naked sprues of the upcoming um, gambler's chest armor sets but that's just me I want some of those uh, Kingsman death armor things so body itself if we can attempt to get things in focus nope camera wants to be stupid okay fine so this is going to be a bit of a challenge getting everything all cleaned up there because there's supports in between all these little rope strands which are going to have to stay on her. They're supposed to be there. And then we have her drumsticks with ribbons, very, very thin ribbons attached to that. That's going to be fun. It looks like we have a base topper. I can't remember if we've seen any photo resin base toppers yet. Hmm. If we have, by all means, please correct me down below. I would love to find out. I don't think we have, though. Now, we've had some photo resin pieces, such as the bald dude that's on the Preacher from Death High's base, but I don't think we've ever had any photo resin actual base toppers yet. I could be wrong. Definitely could be wrong. But it's nice to see that we're getting them. And then, besides that, we have the actual drum heads. Get a better look at them there. I don't know if those are supposed to be tears on them or not. Can't tell even from the artwork. And somewhere, oh, there's the head. I'm like, we'll figure it out eventually, but yeah, that's gonna need some serious cleanup. I may be strange, and I actually kind of enjoy cleaning these photo resin models. But that's not that surprising. Let's take a look at the Frozen Star. The artwork was actually what sold me. This looks like the same artist that did the artwork for the previous year, the 2021... Halloween survivors. Very colorful, which is kind of different for Kingdom Death. This is when oh, okay, Wendy the Frozen Star, savior of the life light. Uh, I'll be the first to admit I'm gonna do an awful job painting her, but I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyways. That's half the fun. It may take me a while, but I have absolutely almost painted every single Kingdom Death model that I own. Like I said, some of them may take a little bit longer than others. But we'll get there. Alright, that's going to need some cleanup. For hanging out in the ice and the cold. You might want to put some pants on there, lady. That's going to need... <laughs> Boy, that's going to really need some cleanup down there. I don't know what this little piece is. I hope it's nothing important. It looks like something popped off in transit, sadly. Again, why am I keeping these bags like they're going to be some kind of collectible? They're not. We've got the scarf. Gonna need to clean that. We've got, I, I don't know, a hand or a leg. No, this is a hand because I can see the leg is much thicker. We all should know that by now. King Death, thick legs, and a whole lot of cleanup. Okay, fair enough. And then what is this? 
I don't even know. A bow? Ribbon? Something for her hair? Maybe. Okay, well, you know the drill. I'm going to take a moment here. We're going to get everybody put together. We're going to hopefully not lose any of these teeny tiny bits. If they're even necessary. And we will grab a whole pile of other Kingdom Death ladies. And maybe a few gentlemen. And see how they all turn out. So, sit tight. All right, we got our new Kingdom Death ladies all put together here for the most part. Let's start off with Wendy the Frozen Star because, well, she's in my hand. Little piece I couldn't figure out was actually part of her headdress, easy enough to fix. She's got a funky outfit on, to say the least. But judging by the artwork, I think it's going to be a fun little one to paint, if I can do a decent job, which is always debatable. Uh, Thankfully, since her backside, you know, it's going to be kind of tough to get in there to paint with the cape in the way, it fits on really nicely and smoothly. I haven't glued it, but it attaches quite easily. So that's Wendy, and then we have our Smog Drummer. I like this model. I had no idea where exactly to place those hands. So it ends up looking like the ribbons that are attached to her drumsticks are actually part of her outfit. They're not. I'm just going to pull her off of that base and hopefully not break anything. Again, one of the very few of the photo resin base toppers. I like her outfit. It's different. I don't know what I got on her back there, but I'll have to clean that off. Gonna be a fun one, even though she is very minimally dressed, but, you know, at this point with Kingdom Death models, that's about par of the course, isn't it? Both of them really simple to put together. Wendy even more so than the Smog Drummer. Grabbing the bevy of Kingdom Death models that I always seem to have handy. Da -da -da -da. With whatever our survivalist and our Sun Lion Lady are right here. But I thought, you know what, since we are dealing with more, well, at least Wendy here is more winter themed, grab our Christmas Satan. And if I can get her untangled here, Winter Solstice Lucy. So this should say something. The Smog Singer, Singer, Drummer, is pretty tall in comparison to some of the more recent plastics. I find that interesting. Um, definitely thick compared to some of the older Kingdom Death models. Grabbing a couple other recent photo resin models, the Lagomorph Survivors. I've seen this couple show up a couple of times since they've been released, so if they look neat to you, they look neat to me. Those are wearing masks made of what seem to be internal organs. By all means, take a look at the store. Nice and chunky. Grabbing a couple other photo resin models we haven't seen in some time. Uh, oh god, what was this? This was a sci-fi engineer, Ezra? Urza? This is one of the few that you can really see the scan lines. Whatever they're called. I thought this was a very poorly cast one. But, eh. See, she's a good... She's... Just as tall as Wendy here while she's sitting down. Here's when this was the female beta architect, which I want to say was in like some kind of little photo polymer bag, like one Black Friday. I want to say this is like one of the very first test run photo resin models they've done. She's much more in a sci fi styled outfit, although she does match up with the male architect, which is. Quite some time back, throwing the Twilight Cloak in here, originally from the cancelled Lantern Festival. Only way you're going to get him is he shows up every now and then in bundles on Black Friday. He is plastic though. But you know what, for the most part, I mean, look, even though she's sitting, I, I, I say pretty good sizes. That's always my concern with Kingdom Death stuff. I don't mind the scale creep, personally, but 
It's just crazy how many of these ladies and every so often few gentlemen I've gotten painted at this point. Um, just if you're into the game, I think these are fun models. If you're not so much into the game, uh, definitely if you don't mind the more cheesecake style models and more scantily clad ladies, or if you do like that kind of stuff, uh, there's definitely some interesting ones out there. And, you know, despite the fact that we're still waiting for that gambler's chest, at least at the time of this filming, uh, hopefully we'll have some more models like this to tide us over in the meantime. So we'll put a link down below if you want to take a look at any of this stuff yourself, see what is on the menu at Kingdom Death Central. Uh, it'll be down there below. And with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.